I am going to derive the mirror formula using the convex mirror and we will also understand why do we apply the sign convention twice. One while the derivation, another while solving the numericals. So, here we have a convex mirror and then this is the object on the principal axis. Now, these are three rays, right? And I am going to consider one ray as this one which is parallel to the principal axis and then it goes in such a way that it diverges in such a way that if you extend it backwards, you get the focus. The another ray, when you pass it through and when it hits the pole, then in that case, the principal axis behaves as a normal because the normal passes through C. So, here from the point of incidence, the principal axis passes through C. So, this angle and this angle will be the same. So, the reflected ray will be on the other side of the normal and when you extend it backwards, this reflected ray and this reflected ray, you will get a diminished and virtual image behind the mirror. Okay. Now, you can consider this triangle that is A, B, P. Let me write it down now. So, we are going to consider triangle A, B, P, this triangle and A dash, B dash, P. So, these two triangles are similar A dash, B dash, Okay, so from here I am going to write down A dash B upon A B, A dash B dash upon A B, that is equal to B dash P upon B P. Now, B dash P, B dash P is the image distance, all distances are measured from the pole. So, this is V and B P is the object distance, that is U. So, this is our first equation, right, and then I am going to consider this triangle A dash B dash F, triangle A dash B dash F and that triangle is similar to triangle M and F. You can see very carefully that this triangle, this angle is 90, this is 90. This is common for both the triangles. So, this angle and this angle has to be the same. Okay. So, that means these two triangles A dash B dash F and M and F are going to be the similar triangles. So, again A dash B dash upon Mn is equal to B dash F upon Nf. So, what is B dash F? So, B dash F is this whole distance. Now, what I have done is I have dropped a perpendicular line. So, this point N is very, very close to P. So, I can consider PF and Nf to be almost the same. So, since this B dash F is P F minus P B dash. So, this is focal length minus the image distance. So, this is F minus V upon N F is same as P F which is the focal length. Correct? N F and P F are one and the same. Now, this is our equation number 2. Now, what happens is, see, from this side, you can very well see that this is A dash B dash upon A B and here M N and A B are one and the same. So, I can replace this by A B, this one. So, this ratio and this ratio becomes the same. So, this ratio and this ratio must be the same. So, V by U must be equal to F minus V upon F, correct? Now, what we are going to do is we are going to solve this further, right? So, V by U that is equal to F upon F minus V upon F. So, this is V by U that is 1 minus V by F. So, I am going to transfer this on this side and this on this side. So, V by F that is equal to 1 minus V by U. Now, I am going to divide both sides by V. So, 1 upon F that is 1 by V minus this V and that V gets cancelled 1 upon U. So, you can see here that this is the mirror formula without sign convention. This is the mirror formula without the sign conventions and in the concave mirror without sign convention the formula was 1 upon F that was equal to 1 upon V plus 1 upon U. So, now what is the problem guys? So, now you have to remember two different formulas for two different mirrors, right? And in the same way, this is a special case. This was a special case in which we took the object beyond C. Now, if you keep on 
changing the position of the object you will get different different formulas so for different different cases you will have to remember different different formulas so what we do is we apply sign convention once while derivation so look all distances in the direction of incident ray would be positive or if i consider an origin here then all distances this side will be plus so v and f will be plus so one upon f one upon v but u is on this side minus u so one upon f is equal to one upon v plus one upon u so the advantage is by applying sign conventions once during the derivation these two formulas become the same right now let's solve a numerical by considering the convex mirror image distance as suppose 20 centimeters so it is minus 20 then focal length is say again 10 centimeters so that would be plus 10 and i'm supposed to find out v now see when i use the sign convention second time i will have to substitute u as minus 20 and f as plus 10 so i will revert back to my original formula correct otherwise what will happen is i will have to remember this formula separately and this formula separately and that doesn't make sense because in the concave mirror you will have to remember five to six formulas for each given cases so instead what we do is we apply sign convention once and then when we apply the sign convention second time while solving the numerical this formula converts back into its original formula so we don't have to remember too many formulas so that's the advantage so i hope that you might have understood if you have any doubts please do comment in the comment section thank you for watching the video